Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Shirani. Now that fall is officially here and the weather is changing, it's starting to get cold outside. I thought I would share my beef soup recipe with you that I love to make around this time of the year. I'm using one pound of beef stew meat that I cut into bite-sized pieces. I'm adding some seasoned salt to that. black pepper some chopped onion and garlic give everything a good mix before you put it in the pot With my pot set over medium heat, I'm going to add some olive oil to that. Now I'm adding my seasoned meat to the pot. And I'm just going to cook this until it gets nice and brown. And the more browner it is, the more flavor it will have. So I like mine to get nice and brown. And that took somewhere around 15 minutes. See, I wasn't lying when I told you I want my meat nice and brown. This is how I like it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm adding the water to the pot. And I'm adding 8 cups of water. One can of diced tomatoes. And I'm also adding some dried oregano and basil. Two packets of beef bouillon powder. If you don't have the powder, you can just use two beef bouillon cubes. Either one will work. Or you can even use beef broth. Whatever you have on hand, just use that. Just give everything a good stir. and then bring it to a boil cover the pot and lower the heat and I cook mine on medium heat and I let that cook for 30 minutes before I add the other ingredients now I'm getting ready to add my vegetables and I like this soup mix because it has everything in it. It has green beans, green peas, okra, carrots, corn, potatoes, celery, baby lima beans, everything. I love this one. If you prefer to use other vegetables, you can. I mean, hey, it's your soup. You're the boss. <laughs> I let that cook 20 minutes before I add my pasta. I love using Ditalini for this soup because it's just so cute. Plus, I mean, I like everything to have the same size, so it's kind of like the pasta and the vegetables and the meat, they are, they are all around the same size. So I like this one. I let that go for 10 more minutes just so the pasta could cook and then I'm done. This is a really easy recipe guys so I hope you give it a try. 
If you do, please let me know. I wanted to mention that you can follow me on Instagram at Cooking with Shirani. I share more personal stuff on my stories, so you can check that out if you like. I'm going camping soon, maybe the end of the month, so I'll be sharing stuff on my stories. Oh, and one more thing, I also have a Facebook page that's Cooking with Sharani also, so you can check that out if you like. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!